left leg on the trigger, so I'm dropping this. Uh, Loops took a shot in the uh, foot the other day, uh, maybe just a high ankle, and uh, it was just a maintenance hole, but he's full goal for tomorrow. Okay. Get a better idea about Carl tomorrow? Looks like he's ready to play. Yeah, he said he felt uh, about 95, 96%, but he's been improving rapidly, so he's a goal for tomorrow. Is that a situation where even if he's banged up, you got to get him back, especially well, the way I, things... I mean, I wouldn't play him if I didn't think he could help us. And uh, he looked fine in practice today, so expect him to play tomorrow. With a big hold stand here, you know, how concerned are you about the goal coming? The fact that it's going to get into the situation. Well, first, we've got to play better in front of the goalies, and uh, they, they know what the situation is, and uh, uh, they worked hard in practice today, and, and hopefully uh, they can get the job done. I mean, there's nothing more we can do. Like, we can't sit back and uh, have five guys standing around the goalies and blocking every shot, but we've got to make sure that we're not giving up uh, some of the chances that we've given up, whether it be uh, two on one early in a game, uh, in which the goalie get scored on and immediately his confidence is shaken a little bit. We've got to play better defensively in front of our goaltenders and give them a chance to, to get into the game. I'm saying to James that it's a unique situation when you're a goalie. Like if you're a defensive player, people will say, well, he's 21, he's got time to develop. When you're a goalie, there is no time. You have to be good right away. Yeah, well, I, yeah, but there is there is a development that a lot of goalies go through, and I've mentioned this before. Uh, whether it be Cam Ward or, or Perry Price have had, um, had their issues along the way uh, early in their career. And we just got to support uh, Rhymes and, and the Monster as well as they work their way through a tough period. A young defenseman like Luke Stan, and his name comes up in trade rumors all the time, is there anything as a coach that you say to him during this week? Or is it just business as usual? I'm not going to say anything because uh, we, we've talked to, to the whole group about that uh, anyway. I think most of our guys understand it's a business, and um, Berkey's talked individually with a lot of guys about uh, there's rumors, and um, e every day somebody calls your team and says they'd be interested in somebody. That doesn't mean that we reciprocate or say that this player's available, and I think that's where a lot of the rumors start. I don't think they start... Uh, with with our team right here in Toronto, where it's coming from us, it's coming from outside of the organization, and uh, sometimes you wonder what the motives are when you see so many. It's the same with those polls. We're always uh, we've always got the top guys in every poll, and we always have the top guys in every who's being bantered about in in trade rumors. So I think it's just part of the territory of being in Toronto. And I think I've got to, uh, kind of understand. That. So, Ron, as it gets closer to the trade deadline, you get a sense of guys are looking around a little bit more worried. If well, that's human not. nature. If I said you were possibly being replaced by somebody from NBC News who is a big top guy, would you be looking for you show? Chances are you would because you've got families and, and things like that. It's just uh, it's something you try to put in the back of your mind, and it's hard, though, not to allow it to uh, be done. Is it a matter of better decision-making defensively than shooting as much? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you get caught up the ice uh, in, uh, in unwise uh, situations. And, you know, the other night with Vancouver, you're out against the top line and you get caught up the ice. And it shouldn't happen. You're giving uh, those quality players have to earn their goals. You don't give them to them. And that's what we've got to get better at. You look at this four game homestand as must wins at all any more than any part well of the we went on I mean we're looking at every road game as must wins and uh, um, that that's our focus is on the next game it's New Jersey and try to beat the devils and, and then we go from there we don't look at uh, four games you look at one you actually just look at the next period well, Ron, you've, in previous life you've done a lot of West East trips is there any concern about getting the legs early um, I, I guess a little bit. It's more the volume and the time of the year. February is usually the dog days of the season. It's hard to, to be energized. Uh, that's why we had uh, just nothing but a high tempo skating kind of practice today, no standing around because we want to mimic what, we, what we're going to do tomorrow. We've got to get our legs going. We've got to get them going early. Um, but, but every team's in the same uh, situation we are. You play a lot of games piled on right now. And um, it's just that time of year where it's 
at times it's hard to really have all your energy. And, uh, but seeing where we are in the standings, uh, there's no excuse for us not to have energy. Do you have an idea for who goes in goal tomorrow, or are you just wait, wait and see? Uh, the Monster's playing goal tomorrow. 